Hey, I'm Lenny Breedlove, and I'm here to talk to you about how to print queer books. Um, I know this one's not out of print, but it really influenced me as a kid, and it's Ruby Fruit Jungle. When I, in, when I came out in 75, I, uh, I had read Huck Finn a lot, and the basic message from the world from Anita Bryant and Jesse Helms and anybody else other than Harvey Milk and what was happening across the Bay was like, no queers. Uh -uh. And then there was this book. It just fell into my hands. It was like, actually you could be free and you could be, you could make art and you could bang babes and you could like run around the world in a car with a cat and do anything you want. And, um, that, was my first encouragement to go live in a world as a free creative queer and that I could make art and I can have fun and I can have love and I can have anything I wanted. And now a lot of the art and books and music that has been made for probably hundreds of years uh, has been burned up in various book burnings and just disappeared and just gone away because people thought it wasn't important, but it continues to be important because the alternative is that we think no one came before us and we think that we have to keep reinventing the wheel instead of honoring those that paved the way for us to be where we are today. And I think it's really important to know that we didn't just spring out of the head of Zeus or something. Like, we have a whole history. And when, when you know about your history, you feel more grounded and deserve to be here kind of feelings. So um, I hope you support this project to put out of print queer books back into your hands. All right. Later.